Hang on, I'm not ready yet. Hello, welcome inside the Mind of Matt. And this is what's left of my Fusion Filament. If you want to see what I printed with it, and what I think about it, make sure you watch the rest of this video. Stay tuned. Alright, so this fusion filament was sent to me to review and uh, they did send me a little letter. Hello Matt. That's me. Thank you for your interest in my filament. I am a maker of things like most people with a 3D printer. I started fusion filaments with the maker in mind. I aimed to empower the 3D maker to use high quality USA filament at the price that most could afford. I originally started 3D printing with the focus of functionality in mind. I love seeing all the neat little trinkets that 3D printers could produce, but I didn't see many things that were truly useful in daily life. As my journey progressed, I ran short of money and filament. I had plenty of failed prints and I wanted to start recycling this material and make it usable again. I started learning extrusion theory and I took a few chances with some home brewed extruders and quickly learned that most were unable to keep the quality and consistency that I needed to make great prints. I invested a large amount of capital into machines that were able to produce filament on a large scale. This path led me to make filaments for all to enjoy. Enclosed is some filament that Sean suggested that you would like. He said that red and blue are your favorite colors. I hope you enjoy the gift and feel free to contact me anytime. So thank you Anthony. Once again, this filament was sent to me for free, but I have an opinion. And I'm going to now talk about some of the pros and cons. I would like to end this in a positive note, so I'm going to talk about some of the cons to begin with. I have two. Uh, the, the spools that he's using are 3D printed, which is okay, but I had one break. Okay, I've had regular uh, like injection mold style filament or uh, rolls break on me, so it's not like an oddity, but it broke right from the get go. The only other con I have is that they weren't bigger spools. I kind of ran out and I'd like to print some more with it. Uh, so that being said, um, the only other thing is like there, there's not a range as far as the temperatures go. Uh, this is the HTPLA. Um, it is. It just says extruding temperature at uh, 245. So I did print it at 245, and I found, uh, in, like you'll see in one of the models, that it, it was really stringy. So I, I started to reduce the temperature down, and I think I was getting it like. Like 225, I think was my my working temperature, and and as far as the blue, it suggested a 220. I went with 220, which is kind of around my normal PLA printing temperature, and everything printed fine. So I did have a, a few failures, but they weren't caused by the filament. Uh, it was more of a mechanical issue, which led to kind of a, a prolonged timing on releasing this review but uh, I'll talk about that as I show some of the the models that I printed here so let's take a close look at what I printed and we'll conclude the results so as you see here I have a bunch of different stuff that I printed let's uh, let's kind of start off at the beginning and talk about some of the problems that I did have uh, I started off with the blue and I wanted to print one of the robots and I did print it on the Delta and about well it got to that point and I came back and it was just the head was just sitting right on top it was in a thermal uh, shutdown because I had a uh, heater cartridge problem which I ended up fixing the printer on a live stream and I'll, I'll put a card up there if you want to see that but then after uh, it failed on the Delta, I ended up throwing it over on um, Yolanda, which I recently upgraded Yolanda 
to uh, a new cooling uh, apparatus that's on the back and I didn't realize that one of my bed clips was hitting that and I ended up with a, a major layer shift right down at the bottom and I didn't realize it and of course the, the model doesn't doesn't fold and doesn't work and its head is like way out of line so that wasn't once again that wasn't the filaments fault that was a printer problem and then I had the other color I started and I figured I'd print another robot over there and I printed this on Mo and my power supply I believe went on my Raspberry Pi and it kind of like stopped right there so I didn't get a complete print on that uh, let's uh, stick with uh, the robot situation here I got going on so I, I did end up getting a, a completed robot and of course he broke and I, I do need to fix him just the the joint fix which actually let me fix this real quick I got something to fix it <laughs> Okay, so that just took a second to dry actually. Good stuff. Oh, I gotta do his head too. But anyways, it this this PLA has kind of got like a, a weird not in a bad way, but almost like a translucent type of, of appearance to it. So this is all the um, Fab 365 models, the jetpack for the robots. Uh, not a lot of string and once you get the temperature right. Um, I didn't really have any problems. Now this is one of the early models. I, my temperature was uh, at like 2, 245 like they suggested and I got a lot of, of running inside and, and a lot of stringing. So that's when I ended up adjusting my temperature. Now with the blue, same thing. You know, I was just experimenting. These are some of the models. Pretty much all of the bullions that you see here were all uh, uh, used in my casting videos, which uh, I'll leave a, a card up there for some of them. But they may seem a little bit dirty because they've had a little bit of powder uh, dusted on this guy actually printed uh, flat on the bed and you see I had some some really some warping and then I ended up switching up and printing it on a vertical this is where you see it's not a complete flat surface they had a little bit of supporting going on underneath couple couple little things I've just printed but overall uh, I like I said, I had zero, zero problems with this filament. It printed uh, same temperature I, consistently. I didn't have clogs. I didn't have jams. Everything printed really nice and fluent. So this here was the model that I used for making my, my mold. When I printed this, it actually there was something wrong with the model, and this print is in there, but it wasn't completely connected. So I think there was a little bit of space, and of course I fixed it in the blue, and that's one solid piece now. These are some of the, the sprues that I was using, just to give an example. Smooth. This is my camera mount for my other mount, my other camera. Is that a camera? Yeah. Is that an Olympus pen camera? Yes. I never even heard of such thing. No, check this out. You've got pretty printed parts on it. Oh my god, I can see myself. Which I, I actually, I broke my camera. So if the the video quality for this is is a little bit less than what you're used to, it's because I I broke my camera, my good one. This is another print that I, I really wasn't getting a good first layer but it was just something I designed up for when I was messing around with the kinetic sand 
So all in all, like I, said, I, I, I printed all of this and pretty much what you see on the table. I think there might be like a, one of my vape clips that I made uh, in each one of the colors isn't in the collecting or collection of stuff, but there's, there's none of this that I threw away. All the filament was pretty much used and you see on the table. And I used it for projects and a couple of different things. Did print a benchy for each one so I could stick on my benchy wall. And as you see the filament prints really nice. Got a nice shiny appearance to it after. So that's Fusion Filaments. Their website is fusionfilaments.com. I'll make sure I leave a link in the description. At this point right now, they're still a small company. They need some support. They need some customers. So if you're interested in checking them out, they do have a, a select amount of colors. But I imagine that in the future they will be growing. So check them out. Let them know that Matt from Inside the Mind of Matt sent you check out once again fusion filament thank you for sending me a couple of samples i hope you like this video hit that like if you did make sure you subscribe if you're not check out all the links i got down in the description for ways that you can help support the channel and make sure you keep on coming back because there's going to be more inside the mind of matt happy printing and be safe pouring